Hi everybody, I hope you're well. Um, excuse the voice, I'm just getting over a cold, so struggling a bit with a cough. Um, but that aside, this video is going to be a bit different and it's almost like a thinking out loud video. Yeah, if you've seen some of my recent videos, I've been working with Bluetti. Do lots of reviews about different power packs, but Bluetti have sent me their AC200 Max. And now I've got both the backup batteries with it as well, which is like uh, six kilowatt hours. And um, I've also got their 12 volt enhancer unit as well. So there's two ways to charge it. You can use the normal 12 volt input um, to the back, and then you can use the actual main socket through this enhancer unit to use as 12 volts so for solar. So I'll quickly show you that, but this is really a thinking out loud video. This system I've got is a massive system and it's far over and above what I need for the camper van. There's more power than I would ever need. I could use all our electric equipment in the camper van, including all the electrical cooking equipment, kettles, toasters, sandwich makers, whatever, and probably be off grid for a week with no power coming in. There's that much power in this unit, which is absolutely fantastic. And uh, if I go wild camping, and some friends come with us they actually plug into the back of my van because i've got that much power which i think is quite funny but a lot of you are asking and we're talking about these power um potential power cuts in uh, this year in the uk and looking at how you can use these power units as an alternative power su um, supply within your house so if you buy one of these units and you spend Quite a bit of money investing into it how can you get the best use out of it not just in your camper van but in your house so what i've been playing with this and some of the ideas i'm going through in this video is that i'm charging my electric car it's a hybrid car i'm charging that through this unit and i've put it into the shed to try to run it uh, independently away from the camper van and i'm also going to use it in the camper van and plug the car into the camper van which gets the benefit of all the other electrics in the camper van so the um the lithium battery i've got set up in there and uh, all the 12 volt system and the solar on the roof and everything but also we're looking at how we can actually plug the um, bluetti system into the cottage um, if you've seen some of my videos we live upon a hill on top of the North York Moors and despite all the energy prices and everything else we do get power cuts we get quite a lot of power cuts it's all overhead cables here and if it's really bad weather the power goes off and um, for two to three hours sometimes and we'll get three or four of those power cuts a year so having an alternative power source would be really useful to us so I'm interested if I could set this up in the garden shed so these units are movable the old disconnect and you can move them about put them into the garden shed set up a system in the garden shed which I can run the cottage off but also doing things the other way around <coughs> of running the cottage off the camper van so using the lithium battery in the camper van, the 12 volt supply and all the charging benefits of that with the solar on the roof of the camper van into the Bluetti system through a cable into a transfer switch into the cottage. So everything will run off the Bluetti system and the camper van. So it's almost like doing things the other way around. You go to a campsite or you charge your camper van at home before you go away. This is actually using the camper van to charge the cottage, which is just an idea to see if it'll actually work. Um, so we'll have a look at that. And these are just initial ideas. I haven't got it all set up and I'll do a future video and see how I get on with various bits and pieces with it. But it's going to be interesting to see if I can actually run everything from this um, Bluetti system into the cottage. And the interesting way of doing it like this is instead of actually taking the unit into the cottage and just plugging things into the unit, which means you have cables all over the place because your housing lighting system is through fuse box, your um, fridge and freezer is through the fuse box, and you'd have to run cables all over the place in the cottage. If you can actually link your um, Bluetti system or any alternative power system through a transfer switch, and I've just got a cheap manual transfer switch to try this with, you could actually transfer it over from the mains power to the, your um, backup system, whatever that is, and then everything will run through the fuse box in the in the house or the cottage. And that means you don't have to have cables running all over the place. 
so that's why I'm thinking of having a, a possible to plug the van into the cottage or to plug the cottage into the power system that's going to be in the garden shed which has a south facing uh, roof and um, if you haven't seen it I'll uh, I'll try to put a link below if you check out um, Ash Pollard's latest video he's uh, across in Swindon and he uh, Swindon Sweden and um, somewhere completely different um, and he's running his full setup off alternative power and he has 12 volt lighting system and he's using uh, AGM batteries um, and he's got a full system there and he's looking into how he can improve that and obviously over there in Sweden there's uh, very little sunlight in winter so he's got a petrol generator that plugs into the system so I think there's lots of people now trying to think of alternative ways of actually running houses and alternative living or living off grid and picking up on some of the ideas that have actually come from the camper van world and trying to transpose or link those into house and domestic use as well. So I think it's really interesting because as I say you spend a lot of money on your camper van and getting everything um, set up in your camper van and buying these pieces of equipment which are great for camper vans and when you're while camping but if you can actually use it to run a cottage or even part run a cottage for a few hours for a power cut how good that would be and how much beneficial that would be to cost effectiveness of buying these units in the first place. So all that said have a look at these clippets of video that I've put together and uh, I'd be interested in any comments you've got and as I say later on I'll put a, another video in a few weeks time to see how I've got on with adapting this system and if it actually works and what what it'll run and how it'll actually run i need to go through the calculations of how much electric you use in the cottage in relation to watt hours so we can calculate how long it would actually work and what we would switch on and what we'd switch off as part of that as well we have this enormous power system Bluetti system and the two backup batteries in the back of our camper van and in that box there there's an eco tree 320 amp hour lithium battery as well and all the Victron gear to go with it and 350 watts of solar on the roof which is absolutely amazing in the camper van and far more power than we actually need but the question is can I use all this to charge my electric car and run the cottage. We've been playing with this power system. So this is the AC 200 Max um, and the two backup batteries for it as well. And we've wired this into a solar panel that fits on the shed roof. So that's the Blue Eti 350 watt solar panel. And it's not 100% waterproof, but that's been on for over a month and it's still working fine. And having it on the shed roof, which is south facing, is picking up quite a bit of sun. So I'd say from completely flat from charging the car, up to about six days to charge it. But it's doing the job. So if I was to cover this in solar panels, I'd be able to uh, keep the charge, certainly in summer, within the power unit and then run a cable from this, a hammered cable that enables you to run it across the ground from a 13 plug socket down to um, the house and we've been charging the car off it. This is the car charger which just runs off a 13 amp plug so there's no problem there. So I've wired this into the power station that you've just seen into the shed. So I take it out the camper van and put it into the shed and it runs to this socket here. But I can also just plug this 13 amp socket into the Bluetti unit and charge it from my camper van. Which means I get the benefit of the lithium battery in the camper van and the solar and the B2B charger to charge everything up when I drive the van. And... Uh, the car we have is a Mitsubishi hybrid and you get it's a rechargeable one as well so you can recharge it and you get about 30 miles on a charge 
So this unit here is uh, six kilowatts, so 6,000 watts. And the, the car needs about 2,000 watts to charge it per hour. So this will actually run it for a half a charge. Then we need to leave it to charge up off the solar, which takes about four days. And it is autumn, so it's done quite well. Then once it's charged up, we can charge the second part of the car off it. So this unit here, currently out the van in the shed, as you can see, is powering our car and we get 30 miles free travel. And where we live, the most of our journeys locally are within that 30 miles. So we're getting free travel from using this unit and a solar panel. But it is winter coming up. It's a nice sunny day out there at the moment, but uh, with winter coming up, I think the recharging is going to be an issue. We could do with a good wind generator, but I'm struggling to find a quality one that's not too big. And this is our hybrid car. And that charging unit just plugs into there. And the car is a Mitsubishi plug-in hybrid Outlander. Another thing we're considering is fitting this into the power system of the cottage. And this is a transfer switch. So it switches from um, main grid power, you can switch off, and then this would be solar power from the solar generator. So inside there, basically, there's just a massive switch that needs to be wired into the house electric system. But the other thing I'm considering as well is most people charge up their van before they go camping from the house. I'm thinking of running this the other way around by charging the house from this power system. So I'm thinking of the cable I've run from the shed could have some of these plugs and sockets on like you do on a campsite but these are 40 amp ones so these are higher powered ones and then I could plug the camper van into this if I needed to or plug the camper van into the power system which will run from one of these into the house to this so I'll actually run the cottage off the camper van so doing things the other way around so I can keep that full system in my van it'll be backed up by the lithium system in the camper van and it'll also have the solar on the roof so when I go out in the camper van it'll charge everything up quicker particularly through winter and then when I come back I'll be able to use some of that power in the house as well that transfer switch would need to plug into the main fuse box for the house and obviously everything in the house runs through this fuse box so you need a qualified electrician to put that within the circuit to enable you to switch from the mains power coming in to the solar power which means that from your solar unit everything would go into this and you'd be able to power everything in the house and that's just a modern fuse box so the Bluetti AC200 has a blue plug on the back here and this has a lead on it which has a plug on like this that can adapt it to fit to 12 volt supply or solar and that little square black box is a relay so I've wired a relay into my 12 volt system which plugs into that connector to charge the Blue Eti. Just charging up the main Blue Eti it charges up the two backup batteries as well and they're both just over 2000 watts or the 6000 watts of power. Now there's only one socket on the Blue Eti to take the 12 volt supply and the mains adapter uses these type of barrel connectors. But Bluetti have produced this enhanced unit, which enables you to use 12 volts into this using those yellow plugs, and then plug this into the socket that you use for your mains charger. And this enhances the power, so you can put it in through the 12 volt socket that you saw the blue plug on the back, and you can put this in as well from the 12 volt supply or a separate supply from solar. So to get extra power into the system, I can use this enhancer to plug into the main socket of the unit. And I can plug a portable solar panel in, or I can again plug it back into the 12 volt system of the van. 
which will double the amount of power going into the Blue Etty and its two backup batteries to charge it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Somewhat completely different and probably more questions than answers. And I hope, I hope I've um, explained it as best I can in this short video. And I am literally just playing about with this at the moment. Um, just a word of caution though, that transfer switch and fitting that into a household socket, you would need a qualified electrician to do that to make sure it's safe. Please don't try to do that yourself by moving wires around because you're dealing with some serious power there and it can cause all sorts of problems. So if I can get somebody um, to actually put that in for us, we'll try to get that fitted and we'll see if we can use that as a switchover. But um, that'll come up in a future video and uh, just to say thank you very much and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.